Okay, so you're not really a coffee person. I get it. Okay, so. We got this so cute too, baby. Okay, we got hot cocoa. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try this because it's said to help you sleep and your girl be having a lot of problems with sleep. Okay, child? I don't know what my body be doing, but it just don't be wanting to shut down. But anyways, so we're gonna try this and we're gonna come in tomorrow and I'm gonna give y'all my honest review on if it helped or not. As you can see, the mushroom cocoa is filled with all natural ingredients to help with mood, sleep, and digestive health. And if you don't like cocoa, they got coffee and matcha, okay? Okay, so to jazz mine's up, I have some white chocolate sugar cookie candy and my favorite peppermint mocha creamer. So I just start by adding some whole milk and my creamer to a warm pot and I let it warm just a little bit. And then I add one tablespoon of the mushroom cocoa and I mix that in and I let it sit for a while. Now while that's sitting, I add my honey to the bottom because you know your girl gotta have her honey. And then we just top it off with our mushroom cocoa and I top it off with some marshmallows and my favorite white chocolate candy. Oh my God, that looks so yummy. Can't wait to get in y'all. All right, so it's five o'clock and your girl is about to unwind. Let's go ahead and get this in. I'm gonna put my favorite show on. If you have not watched Sisters by Tyler Perry, you are asleep, baby, okay? Cause that is my show. Anyways, let's get into this mushroom cocoa and see what it's really on. Mm. If it was on Taste Alone, they got me. It's the next day, guys. Okay, and as y'all seen in the video, I did try the hot cocoa and the taste was amazing. No lie. Could be all them stuff I added into it. I don't know, but it did taste really good. It smelled amazing. It smells just like hot chocolate. Um, tastes just like hot chocolate. So um i did have to like boil it out for a little while for it to kind of blend but there was still some sediments down in the bottom of the cup when i was done with it but either way it was still smooth it didn't taste grainy like i didn't you know have anything or have any dislikes or problems with the taste or consistency but um i would say it relaxed me but it didn't really help with sleeping now, as I had stated originally, I do have issues with sleeping, okay? My body finds it very hard to shut down. And it's just, you know, my own personal issues that I'm dealing with. I've had for years issues with sleeping. So, you know, that probably plays a factor in it. So this is just, again, for people who may be like me, it didn't really work when it came to the sleeping part, okay? Um, I really didn't go to bed until like, three four o'clock like three o'clock this morning so i didn't go to bed until super late it did relax me though i will say that like i was super relaxed so that's a plus but as far as actual sleeping for someone who is dealing with sleeping issues it didn't work for me if you're not dealing with like severe sleeping issues then it could potentially work for you you know as i always say in my videos don't necessarily just take my word for it do your own due diligence do your own research try it yourself you know everybody's body is different what may not work for me might work for you but as far as the smell consistency shipping you know all of that was a one i love their products i really did enjoy their coffee and i have tried their matcha really great i think all the flavors are really great tastes amazing and yeah like i said just do your own research try it yourself and you may like it but I'll still be drinking some because I did like the taste and I did like how relaxed it made me feel. So, as always, thank y'all for watching my review. And if y'all try it out or if y'all have tried it out or have any suggestions, you know, always drop a comment below. Until next time.